Hey folks, it's Bill from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and today we want to show you this incredible selection of kayaks. This video is going to concentrate on our popular Adirondack models, which have very big open cockpits, beautiful shapes to them. And Joe, let's circle around here. We will also have a video on our Kawasas, our sport touring kayaks that have a little bit more rocker, a little bit thinner hull shapes, a little bit quicker in the water. And then we will also have a video on our popular Saranax. And there's two principal lengths. There's a 14 of which we've got three of them here to show you, including a brand new model, the Saranac 14 LC that is going to be Trey Poplar. And Joe, let's circle around over here. Here are three beautiful Saranac 15s that will be in the Saranac video as well. But today, folks, right now, we're going to talk about these incredible Adirondacks kayaks. Let's get to it. Perhaps the biggest attribute of these Adirondacks kayaks is their light weight. As light as 20, 22 pounds, they're so easy for people to pick up. Jess, how about if we show the folks how easy it is for you to get the kayak up and on your shoulder to carry it to the water. She's gonna roll the boat up, pull it into her belly. She's got her legs more than shoulder width apart and rolls it up right on her shoulder. And folks, the padding on our side pads is right on her shoulder. And depending on your torso height, you see there's a lot of padding right here. For Jess, it's on her hip. So there's nothing sharp digging into her at all. You're making this look so easy, Jess, and then flipping it down. Beautiful. Let's go kayaking. Yes. Okay, folks, here are two of our most popular boats, the Adirondack 10 LT and the Adirondack 12 LT. Super lightweight, a beautiful shape to them. They're David Yost designs. They cut the water very efficiently. They track really well. Jess is in the 10, which is actually 10 feet, two inches long, 27 and a half inches wide at the widest point and about 24 and a half at the water line. They're very rounded in the chine area, so waves roll underneath them very nicely. Brandon's in the 12 footer with Ollie, and that boat is actually 12 feet, two inches long. The same widths to it. Brandon, Ollie looks pretty comfortable, and do you think he'd stay like that for a good paddle? Yeah, for a, a, a decent amount of time. It's, uh, if we were going on a trip, we'd probably want uh, a little more size in the cockpit, but for recreational paddling, you could fit a 50 pound dog or smaller, a little more comfortably, but that's good. It's great for recreational paddling, lots of room. Now notice both Jess and Brandon, they have their legs propped against the side of the kayaks. And we have what are called two knees up where they can really put their knees up and paddle in a more comfortable position. And it's one of the things that these Adirondacks are really known for. And one of the reasons why people like the open cockpits, you can really move around in the boat quite a bit. So cheers to the Adirondack 10 and 12 LT. People love our Adirondacks because they're light, they're very comfortable, and then they paddle beautifully. So let me talk about the shape of them a little bit. The first is that they have very long waterline lengths in relation to the overall length. They don't have the long extended bows like you see in ocean touring kayaks. So this 12 footer paddles like a lot of 13 and 14 foot kayaks do. The second thing is that they're very rounded in the chine area where the side of the boat meets the water. And they're very consistently rounded from one end to the next. So the waves, when they hit the side of them, really roll underneath them with very little effect of pushing the boat around. If a motorboat goes by, you get waves from wind. The waves will roll through the boat very nicely. David Yost is an absolute genius. He's designed over 200 production boats. He's one of the preeminent designers in the industry and by far my favorite. All of these boats are very straight keeled in the back end. 
they track in a straight line very easy and they make it very easy for you to learn how to control the kayak. These Adirondacks are just a joy to paddle. Brandon is in our popular Adirondack 12 with the hatches and bulkheads and it's got a wider cockpit than the LT models have. So very easy to have a fish tackle box, a small child, a dog perhaps, Brandon. The relaxed position of putting your legs out to the side. This is super comfortable. You can drag your feet in the water if you want to. Now I'm in the 13 and a half footer. I am 6'3 and about 240 pounds. For me, this boat fits me beautifully. So Brandon, your size? I'm about 5'9", uh, 160. Um, and this is an extremely comfortable size for me. Um, day tripping, uh, if you wanted to even go for a weekend, you could with the extra storage and stuff. Um, and then I do have a little trusty companion that likes to come with me for most of my adventures too. So I can see if I can get him to join me here. Ollie, come here, bud. Nice. You wanna hop in? Come here. This is Go the for beauty paddle. of going kayaking, folks. That's a boy. When you bump. can take your furry friend with you. <laughs> so yeah, this is. Um, there's a little more space in this guy uh, compared to the the LT model. So if you're gonna have a dog coming with you, this is a great option for that. You get lots of comfort, stability, and then if you need to bring a doggy bag for him, you got hatches for that as well. So this is a great boat. And Ollie likes to go when he you go kayaking. He certainly and... does. Yeah, he gets upset if I leave him anywhere. So. Um, he's quite happy to tag along, that's for sure. Now, Brandon is our sales manager, and you talk to a lot of people that buy our kayaks. Yeah. What typical body size person do you find fits in the 12 foot nicely? So somebody my size, um, w one thing I always say to customers is you can always put a smaller paddler in a bigger boat. You can't always put a bigger paddler in a smaller boat. Um, so something like this, it does really fit a wide range of paddlers, but somebody my size, even a little bigger, can fit really comfortably in this boat. Um, and then a lot of it's just narrowed down to what you're using it for as well, right? So um, yeah, my size, a dog companion, uh, even a little larger paddlers can get in. Uh, one thing I like to talk to customers about too is with the big open cockpit, if there's any mobility issues or anything like that, it's really beneficial to just to be able to get in and out a little easier with something like this. Um, so that's a, a huge talking point for what I'm discussing with customers. Yeah, especially people who've had knee or hip replacements. These yeah. are very popular boats for those people. For sure. So it's definitely, it's, it's part of the conversation we have when we're fitting a customer is the, the series of questions. We ask about what it's being used for. Um, height, weight obviously is a big one, but yeah, mobility issues too is a factor for sure. And um, yeah. Now I fit in that boat. I can take the Adirondack 12 for a day paddle. I feel like I'm in a little sports car, <laughs> but this particular boat really fits larger people very nicely. Just their body size fits really nice. I'm comfortable in this. I've got a lot of padding on the side where I brace my legs. It's super, super comfortable. I can put a fish tackle box. I can put a small child, a dog easily. And what I like about the bigger boat is I just find it's got a little bit more speed for my size. I've got the power where I can move it. Now, if you're a very large paddler, our seats fit people up to 250, 275 pounds very nicely. If you weigh more than that, we can put an expedition beefy seat in, let us know in the time of order. So these Adirondacks, absolutely beautiful boats to paddle, track nicely, great lake country boats. They're boats you can take in a windy, twisty creek, super lightweight. So cheers to the Adirondack 12 and 13 sex. Let's go over the features of the LT model Adirondack for you so you can see what it's all about. They start with the nice bow handles on them. They have overlapping seams, so there's a really cool joints on them. This particular one is a carbon fusion with the clear carbon and negra on the deck and the hull. It's got the carbon internal skid plates. We've got another video on kayak laminates, colors and options that you're gonna wanna check out as well. So when you come down the deck, we put some bungee cords right in front of the cockpit rim. And the cockpit rim, folks, is super cool. Take a look at this. These are made out of carbon, and we resin infuse them right in our factory, ideally sized to fit here. 
We've got a paddle holder in the front right here. We've got our popular side pads, pads, which have really thick foam to them, but fit on your shoulder nicely, make it very comfortable. Your legs fit against them too while you're paddling. Now in the back of the, the cockpit, we also put another paddle rest, which for some people like to put their paddle across when they get in and out of a kayak. It really locks in nicely. The kayak seat, ooh la la. This is one of the big reasons why people absolutely love these boats. There's very thick padding on the bottom. It's a medical foam. They've got adjustable lumbar support going up and down to put you in a proper paddling position. Very thick foam in the back of them. They move with you when you paddle. They're super comfortable. Now when you're not paddling and you're transporting them, they're very easy to just cinch right back into place and set up so it doesn't flop around at all while you're paddling. In the back of the boat, Joe, let's show the folks. This is a foam pillar which helps provide flotation. There's a bigger one in the bow. There's also flotation built into the core of the boat. These boats are very buoyant. And then towards the back of the boat, we have more bungee cords. We have a stainless steel security loop where you can run a cable through it. If you're stopped somewhere for dinner, either at a nice restaurant before you go home, you can lock it if you've got a beautiful boat and you're worried about it, or where you store the boat at home also. This also has a stern handle on it. So these Adirondacks, super light, super comfortable, and make people super happy. Cheers. Let's review the features that the Adirondack 12 and 13.6 with hatches have. So they start just like the Adirondack LTs with a really comfortable bow luggage handles, super comfortable. They're made with the overlapping seams, much like the LT models. Now this particular one is a super cool Basalta Negra deck and hull and has the internal carbon skid plates on it. Let's go back down the boat a little bit, Joe. I love the look of this material. If I'm getting a kayak, this is one I'm strongly considering. Now, these models have hatches and bulkheads on them. So solid bulkheads, solid hatches. We make these out of resin infusion right at our factory, right when we make the hull and the deck of the boat, which are also separate resin infused parts. They've got an automotive door gasket on them. When you put them back on, you can find the place where they fit in nicely. You can really put them on pretty easily with these clips. If you want to make them even tighter, you can push down hard on the end, crank on the hatch a little bit more to get them a little tighter. No kayak is, hatch is 100% dry. You always want to put things in a dry bag or plastic bags. The LT models don't have the hatches and bulkheads. These particular boats, people are a little bit more comfortable paddling in the estuaries of the ocean and out along the shoreline more, a little bit more safety built in because they do have more flotation with the hatches and bulkheads. Same type of bungee cords right in front of the cockpit. Again, the beautiful resin-infused carbon cockpit rim. Joe, show the folks how cool that looks. That's really neat. The side pads, just like we have on the LT models. The same super comfortable seat with the adjustable lumbar support. Then when you're not using it, very easy to fold down and tighten up. And then, Joe, let's show them the one feature that is all our kayaks have, and that is adjustable foot braces. And they have a very large head on them to comfortably fit your feet on them. You can really put a good amount of pressure on them. Very easy to adjust right from where you're sitting. So again, the stern bulkhead here, stern hatch, stainless steel security loop, the stern luggage handle. These Adirondack kayaks with hatches, boy, I've got to have one, and I think I'll take this one for myself. Our Adirondack kayaks are beautiful, and it might be the ideal craft for what you're looking for. 
We just want to show you an alternative. We have a PAC-12-6 and PAC-13-8, which are open canoes. They have the kayak seat and foot braces in them, very straight keeled in the back end, very similar hull shapes to the kayaks. But what they have is the canoe shape above the waterline, they're a little more open. And what people love about them is they also are super, super lightweight, really easy to lift up and carry. So I'm just gonna hop in this baby real quick. Very easy for me to put it down. So people with mobility issues like Brandon was talking about, we have a lot of people that come to our stores to buy kayaks and sometimes they end up leaving with these pack boats just because they love how light they are. They're so comfortable. Notice how we've really pulled the sides in so when you're kayaking, you can just do your normal kayak strokes. So a PAC-12-6 or PAC-13-8, similar product to our Adirondacks, but folks, we love these boats and Adirondack 10 and 12 with the out the hatches, the lightest weight models, the LTs. Adirondack 12 or 13 6 with the hatches. Absolutely beautiful boats. Cheers to the Adirondack kayaks.